Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm drawing Nessa from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, I know I did jump onto that bandwagon. I usually don't pay because I'm lazy, like very very lazy, but this time I did because of the whole whitewashing drama that's surrounding her and uh, I kind of wanted to put my foot on the door. Like, I, I don't know, I felt like if I drew her, I would have more... Uh, I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's just kind of like, well now at least I can, you know, speak out and now that I've drawn her, it gives me the justification to speak out, even if I already did speak out before, before I drew her, but you know, my logic. Surprise! Um, so yeah, a summary for those who are not very familiar. This comes from my point of view, of course, so biased. Uh, basically, some Japanese artist drew Nessa a couple of tones lighter than she actually was. Now, she was clearly still dark skin, but you know, it's fair to say, say, fair to say that it was uh, compared to her actual skin tone, it was pretty light. Uh, dark skin still, but light, uh, lighter at least, yes. And um, this sparked some outrage by the community who obviously jumped onto it and were like, oh, whitewashing, oh, people, you, you racist fucks, you know, whitewashing Nessa, she's supposed to be darker. I, I know I shouldn't. I, I, the people don't sound like that, but coming from me and from my point of view um what the fuck <laughs> it just it, so what happened from there is uh, people got so fucking tired of these entitled fuckers uh, screaming into their ear about how you know fun art is not good enough or how the colors are not right enough so they essentially started trolling people by drawing Nessa white like legit white and I'm gonna be honest I thought it was kind of genius I know not everybody was super happy about it and people were like that's so childish and racist and I was just like there's tons of art and here's the thing there wasn't even Japanese artists who got the flag there was like one chick who was called out for whitewashing and she was like oh yeah I know I did the mistake on the skin like uh, the Pokemon sword and shield is not out yet just so you know so uh, there, when she drew the picture, she said, "Oh, you know, there wasn't a lot of like good official art, so I used like fun art or you know other pictures, you know, as reference, you know, some sort of some official work, some unofficial work, and it's just kind of messed with the skin tone because, you know, she didn't have a good reference." What do you think people said to her? Like, do you think they were like, "Oh, you know, makes sense," uh, you know, that's. You know, it's great that you at re least realized that, and you know, better luck, s luck next time. No, no, of course they didn't say that. You know what they say? That's not an excuse for racism! And I'm just like, what the fuck? So people started drawing her white. And um, like I already mentioned, then the whole thing heated up, and then there was some actually pretty racist story, uh, which, you know, I I'm just kind of personal, like, eh. You know, it's art, I don't care either way, but, you know, ultimately, um, like, Nessa, of course, to me, she looks the best with dark skin, obviously. She was designed with the dark skin, all the colors, just, they flow better, obviously, with dark skin, you know, designers tend to know what they're doing, surprise. But, here's the thing, um, if someone draws fan art of your character, then... <clears throat> You shouldn't whine about the fucking skin color. Okay, these artists are not getting paid. If it's a commission, I can understand. Like, if I had a dark skin character, or even light skin character, and I commissioned someone to draw my character, then yes, the skin color would matter, because it does matter. Uh, it's important detail, but when someone is drawing, like, fun art, which is not paid, it's done out of the love for the character, Unless there's like intentional whitewashing with, you know, then it shouldn't matter at all. Like these, these people are super entitled 
to be frank, like really, really entitled. They, for some reason, they think that this character is like them. As soon as there's like dark skin character, people go into this ownership mode when it's like, oh, I'm in this picture. It's just like, no, this character is not you. Stop acting like you're personally offended because someone didn't get the skin color the way you think it should have been. And I said this before, but the people who are outraged over the skin color are like people who are whining about getting wrong colored iPhone for Christmas. It's pathetic. Okay, you are getting fun art of this nice, beautiful character. Everybody's showing some love to her. Everybody's uh, drawing her the best to their abilities. But is that good enough? No. No, it's not. Like, and the worst is that people whine. <laughs> Maybe you guys should learn to draw pa black characters. And it's just like, do you listen to what you're saying, you cunt? Do you wonder that maybe people don't want to draw black characters because fuckers like you attack them every time they do? And I've seen it so many times, like I've been attacked for drawing dark skin characters supposedly wrong. And you know what's the funniest shit about that? Yeah, the character was my own, okay? Well, it wasn't an OC, it was random character that I literally pulled out of my ass. Not out of my ass, but, you know, from my head. And it's just like, how can you complain about anything about a character that I came up with? It just doesn't make any sense. And these people, they find anything uh, to be offended by. And you apologize, it's not going to be good enough. Uh, you say that, oh yeah, I made a mistake, not a good enough. Nothing you do or nothing you say is going to be good enough. So, you know, what you should do, tell these people to fuck off. Like, I don't really understand artists. Uh, like, okay, I do understand. Artists don't really want to draw controversy to themselves, of course. It's not very professional and it kind of doesn't help anyone in any situation. But seriously, uh, I, I'm not, like, I wouldn't let these entitled fuckers just walk all over me. I don't care about how unprofessional it makes me or how professional I am supposed to be. But some fucking level of respect, like these guys are hardly artists themselves, or if they are, they are the, not, to nicely put it, not very good artist and not the kind of artist who really, I'd say, know what effort is when it comes to art. So it's like either you got non-artist wanting or the kind of artists that are pretty much hobbyists who just draw a picture and it doesn't matter how it turns out. It's always, you know, perfect. It's a very like beginners, okay? She's trying to dance around that it was really hard. <laughs> but people who have a little bit more experience, like know that art just kind of doesn't go that way. But... Yeah, overall, artist, why do you let people walk all over you? These people are never going to be satisfied. Uh, whatever you apologize or not, it's not going to be good enough. Anything you do is not going to be good enough. So better not to react to it at all. Of course, the things just kind of blew out of hand. Uh, the people drawing Nessa White, that was kind of funny, but then there was some like actually racist art. Again, I don't really care, but in a way I can see that it kind of went, you know, overboard. Uh, needless to say, I had some other point that I totally forgot, but I, I don't know, like I followed it from quite a beginning. Uh, I... Uh, saw like Nessa and I was just like oh she's such a nice character and I saw some fan art and then I saw like people just shitting on the artist oh and yeah the thing like many of these artists like even if they draw Nessa with the wrong skin color I like before the whole shit blew up I never saw anyone doing it with bad intentions like whitewashing should only be meaningful when it's done with malicious intention not because someone makes an artistic choice that's again non malicious or they just don't know how to draw a black person like there's many reasons which first is style it doesn't matter yeah style actually is a valid criticism sometimes or valid counterpoint more like sometimes 
And second is probably mood. Uh, people break color palette this all the time. It's not just like a lot of people were complaining. It's not a pastel. Like uh, you hear this because some people were like, well, that's a pastel palette, so that's why the skin is lighter. And you had people like, that's not pastel because the other colors are the same color as official art. Well, there's also a thing called like breaking the colors. Like uh, you can have, for example, a totally like. For example, a character who has a black hair and, say, white skin. And instead you decide to go with a uh, breaking palette, which is like you have their skin color. I mean, you have their hair color, be totally normal, like black. But then you make their skin like bright red. That happens. And the thing is that a lot of the art that we saw, it had like this sort of break in the palette to it. Like, it clearly had, like, multiple colors that were not realistic or natural. But do people take that into account? Of course they don't. Then people be like, maybe you should color pick the original art. Who does that? Like, that's the worst advice to give to anything. Because here's one fun, fun little fact. Colors are relative to other colors, okay? Colors can look light or dark depending on which color they're paired with. You know, just color picking from the official art is probably the worst advice to ever give to someone. If I were to color pick the original art and then draw uh, the rest of the picture with, you know, my own style, people would complain to me about whitewashing. Because, again, colors are relative. And, um,. Yeah, and then you got the third group, which is like people who genuinely do not know how to draw black skin and just kind of fuck up. What, why do you attack those people? Do you think they want to learn or draw black people again if, if like, you attack them every time they even try? It's the most weirdest thing is the people going and saying that, hey, maybe you should learn to draw black people, but also never, ever, 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 ever dare to fuck up a dark skin because you will have a, have a mob at your door ready to nail you on the cross and lead you on fire because why the fuck not? You are obviously the devil and deserve to be extinguished. It, that's not the right word, probably. But yeah, that's uh, my opinion on the whole white version drama. It's really stupid. People are entitled and should not be given attention. But yeah, um, the Pikachu is almost ready, so I hope you like it, and bye-bye!